Aquarius, thank you so much for tuning in. This is your January 8th to the 14th reading. We are proceeding with the second quarter of the month. Uh, now, I'm hearing for you right up and out that there is, I'm hearing a dancing around a certain uh, merry-go-round, okay? There um, is a fundamental point of focus that is transformational. You have the death card, Scorpio's card smacked up in the middle, and I'm getting that there is... Um, I'm hearing fight or flight. You have the eight of wands that sits right next to the death card, okay? There is perhaps a certain circumstance that requires of you to take a very sober approach to something. The five of swords upright, mirroring the eight of wands. The focus being on what is your very personal truth. And whatever that may transpire as for others um, is... Um, is is I'm hearing only a, a peripheral uh, strength. You have the Four of Swords here, right beneath the Death card, focusing on the value of perception, okay, through transformation. And there's really a focus here, really a focus here, Aquarius, on what you uh, determine to be a point I'm hearing, and a scale for change. You have the Five of Wands upright, marrying the Five of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, marrying the Five of Wands. There are so many actions that you can take on, so many directions. I'm hearing behavioral patterns as well that can be, um, I'm hearing, enacted through and by. You realize that at the end of the day, I'm hearing, it is a front. At the end of the day, what you confront is what sets the change into motion. And um, I'm hearing that you are moving through change by way of the progressional understanding of what you are working with. And um, there is clarity that is what sets your, um, I'm hearing, stakes, what it is that you determine to be the value proposition of this change, what you feel you are taking from the experience in a certain way, that is um, a point of perception that we're seeing. Okay, but yet again, it's like I can take so many so many different directions, and the feeling is that uh, once you decide on what direction to take, perhaps in terms of how you stand in a certain matter or an issue, um, I'm hearing that that is a, um, happening perhaps in your environment as well, is what sets into motion and perhaps sets the pace of how things move forward. And I'm hearing venture for a number of you, okay? I'm going to pull a few more cards for you, Aquarius, to see what comes through during this time. And again, we are uh, assessing the energies from the 8th until the 14th, okay? You have there the 8 of swords in reverse. The seven of wands in reverse, eight, seven in sequence. I'm hearing undying purpose, three of wands in reverse. Okay, this card has come up for almost every sign now. The ace of cups in reverse. You're seeking, I'm hearing you're seeking greater change, the sun of swords in reverse. The six of swords in reverse, again coming through. This was your theme in the earlier readings here. Okay. Now the theme is a higher font for you, overlaying the daughter of swords, overlaying the star, okay. Now the focus is on what it is that you will deem as an opportunity for expansion and growth. And I'm hearing specifically revelation. It's in a certain way, I'm hearing Gemini for you, Aquarius, in a certain way, it is by way of your barometer for change, what you what you feel to be the moment when I'm ready for things to change officially. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see what comes of change. Um, and I'm hearing task, task maker. There may be certain, uh, a series of events that um, is uh, what leads you to, as you may feel it, a point and a, a point of transition and a period of emotional transformation, where it's like I am emotionally uh, in line and aligned with what I feel this change resembles for me, okay? And the desire is to fine tune uh, our feelings for this transformation. And it's like, I, I want to, I want to really uh, feel that I have my, um, my, I'm hearing for a number of you, my financial footing, right? I'm hearing in place before I, I'm hearing get caught up in the emotionalism of it, the excitement of it, 
but I also want to determine what my values are in this process. Yet again, this process of transformation and change. I'm hearing seeking higher ground. The values of my creativity. What I value as a creative, I'm hearing principle, is a focus here for you. Okay, and it's almost as if, it's interesting because what is creative and dynamic, you're almost, uh, the desire is to channel it and even, I'm hearing, transfuse it, transmute it in a way that uh, takes on a structured form. Okay, I'm hearing, is, is a hard set value an asset. And there could be the desire to characterize whatever this creative potential is that you feel is a focus here for you. Now, you're leading out with, a recollection of thinking patterns. Okay, what is it that serves me, serves my uh, understanding? I'm hearing also my feeling that connects me. I'm hearing reverberation that, that, um, that serves to remind me of my connection to what I understand in principle is my value. And there is an intellectual approach that you realize, well, I can technically think my way through this. I can technically, I'm hearing consult, um, I, I'm hearing a financiary. I can legally, um, I'm hearing legally, okay, legally um, uh, take on certain, um, I'm hearing codes, codes and regulations. I'm hearing of caution perhaps where I am, I'm, I'm moving through certain sets of, of laws. I'm hearing bystanders, okay. Um, but, what exactly constitutes my resonance factor is partly perception of what I realize is a paradigm, a structure of values, and perhaps rules, laws, regulations, so to speak. And of course, right, general reading, it may, it may resonate differently for everyone, but it is a transmutation of the role that um, I'm hearing finances specifically play and uh, how it is that we perceive and characterize, um, I'm hearing societal, uh, I'm hearing performative rules, I'm hearing per perfunctory, how it is that we, um, um, bear in mind, keep in mind certain principles for growth. As it pertains to the way that I'm hearing at the onset, how it is that in a way what we are per pursuing um, imaginatively, creatively is perceived or um, even presumed by a certain, I'm hearing characteristics, characteristic or set of principles, of values that are, um, I'm hearing, not necessarily those that are intrinsic to you, intrinsic to why you are thinking and, and, and dreaming of what it is that you are. And so it's almost, there's this um, recognition that my perception is personal to me. And yes, what I'm perhaps creating, what I'm working towards is, uh, I'm hearing, is fathomable in a certain way. But the way that I move into it is, uh, not because the way that I'm moving into it is why is is a reflection of why I'm moving into it and that is personal to me and I want that set of principles and values to be the way that I move into the way that I construct the way that I perceive and recognize opportunities to capacitate this vision to stand and serve as okay so focus on um, perception here absolutely I'm getting in a very conscious way I'm hearing in a hyper conscious way I'm also hearing in a contextualized way okay so focusing on the perception in certain um, circumstances okay like when I'm in this circumstance when I'm in this environment um, I'm hearing specifically coworkers. I feel that my perception is charged. I'm hearing abnormally charged. Okay, um, so uh, right, be it certain contexts that you feel serve to enlighten you in the way that is. I'm hearing normal in the way that is is uh, uh, almost seamless and authentic. To which point you are guiding yourself into this new beginning, finding your own bearings. Okay, I'm hearing for land, what it is that you consider to be um, 
the path that leads you where you see yourself going because you have in a certain way sniffed that path out okay not necessarily yet again because uh, a certain individual um, set it out okay and so there is sort of a feeling of there being no sort of guideline okay as you may see it or perceive it to yet again the way that this new beginning is laid as a foundation now um going to be moving right into the 15th to the 31st readings right here. Uh, feel free to purchase your uh, signs for those readings in the link below um, that's provided in the description box. And um, I'll see you there. All right, Aquarius.